What is up? Um, got some mail in just now, and on Saturday, I believe it was Saturday was a big day, man. I got all kinds of stuff. Um, we'll get to this. My buddy Robert Dorfman sent me a card that he thought I would like for my minor league um, project, if you will. It's not really a project. I'm just going to just keep plugging away at it. It's something I've been doing for years. Um, to me, when I do a project, I normally have a, a starting point and an ending point, like a destination where you'd like to see that project. And to me, this isn't one of those. It's not the case here because it's just, I just like doing it. So it's not really a project, just something I do, I guess. But um, he sent me an Anthony Rendon. So I do not think he signs TTM. Um, and I don't want to lose it if I send it to him, so I'll hold on to it now and hopefully I can get it IP or I can send it to someone on a consignment. Um, I got a, my one of my, I think I have three of these out, three different photos, but one of my Crimson Tide photos came back. Um, I've been doing for my brother-in-law. Um, he doesn't even know that I'm doing this, but um, I sent it to um, Jay Barker and he wrote, Pat, Roll Tide, Jay Barker. Um, I can't see the... Um, Bible verse he put in, but then he put Johnny U Golden Arm Award, which is pretty awesome. So I don't remember if I asked him to do that or not. Um, I got in today. I got in my Oilers eight by tens. I've been sending both of them together, which is kind of uh, I don't know, maybe not be the smartest thing, but instead of sending one to this guy then he sends it back and I send another one I just been sending both to guys that I knew signed TTM through the Houston Oilers or not through but Houston Oilers guys and I got in Dan Pastorini this time um, he's this guy and he signed it here as well so um, I might try to just send it to a couple more guys. Hopefully, they'll fill out all of this. It's not signed. And then maybe just one or two more on this side because on this one, because this one's looking pretty good, man. So if I can get, what's on here? One, two, three, fours on there. So if I can get like six to seven, that's pretty good in my book. Um, I got an Enos Cabell. I sent this out a while back and just now getting it back, so that's cool. <laughs> I think I sent this one with the Oilers the first time I sent this one out. And so needless to say, this one's been to four different people by the time this one just came back. But, can't complain, it came back. Um, and to some cards, I got TTM. Um, I finally found a good address for Ernie Irvin. Um, I had one or two RTS's from him and holy smokes did I get some signatures back from him I got a ton I'm um, coming back in three separate packages or three separate envelopes so um, yeah definitely found a good address for him <laughs> And my favorite, Booyah. I was really happy to get that one back. So there's those. Um, got this in. Tony Zendejas. Ex um, kicker for the Houston Oilers. Um, ben, I, I'm sending you that package of Denny Hamlin cards. And uh, there's some photo and some Ricky Stenthouse, but I put one or two um, Tony's and Dejas cards I got in. He sent me back three, and so I'm sending two of them to you, buddy. Um, and I found a good address finally for Archie Manning. Um, I have a card out to him that has been out for almost a year. So I'm glad that this one came back. So I tried a different address, and I guess it paid off. So that's awesome. Mr. Chad Knauss signed it in silver. Come on. 
um, which is very nice. He typically doesn't switch pins while he's signing. And Kevin Harvick got to his mail. He put a tweet out that he was signing uh, his fan mail. So I got these two. We're in um, one TTM letter. And then this one also got in. was in another TTM letter. Um, this is going to replace the one that I had for my set that I'm doing because the one that I have he signed up here um, when I went when I got him at the track he signed it up there so I was really happy that he signed it there I don't know if I asked him to do that or not um, in my letter but could not be happier with that I got these two I'm not have not decided if I'm going to do the set or not. I just really like these patches, and they are cheap. They're relatively cheap to pick up. Um, from 2014 American Thunder, and this they're all numbered to 99. At least the if I'm going to get work on the set, I'm going to work on the ones that are numbered to 99. So that's Carl Edwards, and this is Matt Kenseth. The camera doesn't really do it justice, but there is like big, big time. Um, ridges between the yellow, um, gray, and black there. So it's really cool. So those are my third. All together, I think I have three of these now. So still up in the air. Um, as of now, I'm just collecting because I like them. Um, so we'll see. I got three huge cards in for the five star set that I'm working on. Um, I have one more left, and unfortunately it's the one that when I started the project I wasn't looking forward to buying, just because not a big fan. Um, and now, we'll get to that, who that is here in a minute, but I got um, Kevin Harvick. Dale Jr., which he had a lot of nice ones um, as far as multicolored and all that good stuff. Um, it was just a matter of trying to find one for less than a hundred bucks. And um, that was three color. He had quite a bit that were two color. And it was hard to find one that was three color. And this guy, this was impossible to find one that was a two color. Um, all of his cards were just solid white. Or it would be white with like some paint scrape on it and stuff like that. And then this came up for like $39, buy it now, and like an auction. So what happened was someone bid on it. So it removed the buy it now. And so I wrote the dude and explained my situation that, hey, man, I'm working on this set. I really need that card. You know, this is why. And uh, he put it back on a buy it now for me. So I bought it. I definitely probably could have got it cheaper than $39, but I was going to be pissed if I lost out on an auction for this card because, like I said, I've only seen one multicolor, and it's this one. Um, so this is the only set in the... This is the only card in the set that's numbered to 42. Carl Edwards. And it's funny because it's blue and white. Oh, you can tell really good right there. Um... And that top color is nothing, it's just sheet metal. There's no paint on it. Um, you can see the paint is actually coming off. So, really cool in my book. Like I said, that's the only one in the gold version that's numbered to 42. The um, Richard Petty and Terry Labonte, which I have both, were numbered to 10. Those are pretty tricky to find. This one's numbered to 42, and the rest are numbered to 50. Um, so I don't know what that's about. It sounds like a Panini special to me, but this is Press Pass that releases this product. Um, so who I have left is Danica Patrick. Um, I've said what I think about her in the past. Um, it's not a female thing. Um, it's just a thing of she gets so much credit and so much hype and publicity, but she sucks, dude. She's not very good. Um, she hadn't won shit, uh, you know, and yet her stuff is more expensive than Jimmy Johnson, more expensive than Jeff Gordon, it's more expensive than Dale Jr. Um, I don't get it. Um, so there's a couple on eBay right now that are multicolored, 
like two colored. I'm trying to get a three color. Um, there was one last week or a couple weeks ago that ended. It was a four color and ended for less than a hundred dollars. It was an auction. I'm kicking myself in the pants for not getting that one. Um, but we'll see, dude. I have to get it to finish out the set. It's the last one, so I'll probably just suck it up on payday and shut my mouth and buy the damn thing. Um, so that's that, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Adios.